When we talk about all disease being cell disease, what we really should be saying is all cell disease is blood disease. And all blood disease is dirty blood, which means clotted, sludgy, dirty, toxic blood. And this is, this is where what I call subclinical sepsis comes in. So, yes, there's, a lung, there's lung involvement. There's damaged tissue in the lungs, and there's an infla inflammation in the lungs that's involved. But also blood issues are involved, and this we do have control of. So, uh, for your friend, uh, mm -hmm. mighty, mighty 90 essential nutrients. That's the baseline right there. Secondly, right. secondly do a food diary. Make sure he's, uh, he, he's linking inflammatory symptoms to problem foods, especially if he has skin problems or if he has any other kinds of inflammatory or immune conditions. Link it all up to foods. Certainly how he feels after he eats foods, needs to be made, he needs to make a connection there. And I'm not just talking for Robert's friend. I'm talking about anybody out there dealing with COPD. Nobody else is going to tell you to do a food diary if you have COPD. Nobody else is going to tell you about the link between the digestive system and the lungs. This is, a, for the life of me, I don't know why people don't, uh, healthcare professionals don't make this connection. Anyway, food diary, eliminate problem foods, make sure you're, he's on the BioLumin Nightly Essence, probiotics, good bacteria, sugar, as we said, can clog the blood and make it much more difficult for the body to carry, uh, for the blood cells to carry uh, oxygen and deliver it to the cells. So keeping blood sugar intake down, or keeping blood sugar low, keeping sugar intake down, using the Sweeties, Chromium, and Vanadium, uh, the Healthy Star Pack will get him as Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but extra B vitamins wouldn't, help, wouldn't hurt. And one of the best ways to get extra B vitamins is to do vegetable juices. And vegetable juices are also very filling, and vegetable juices are also very satisfying. And so it's a sneaky way to hack into your drive for sugar by using uh, vegetable juices, fi uh, upping your fiber intake. Plus, the electrical nutrients in combination with the water will jack up your electrical energy and make it easier for your body to process sugar. Thirdly, make sure he's calming the body down. Make sure he's activating the parasympathetic nervous system using all the strategies we talk about when it comes to uh, relaxing, relaxing techniques, meditating, breathing, yoga, hot tubs, hot water, massage, anything you could do to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And there's zillions of ways to do it, by the way. We talk about the main ones, but how you hold your body can activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Smiling, turning your lips up, turning your, your mouth upwards and uh, up in a smile shape will activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Looking out of the sides of your eyes, out of the peripheral, at, uh, activating your peripheral vision will activate the parasympathetic nervous system. There's a really cool book called The Open Focus Brain that talks all about how you can relax. He, he doesn't say in the book, uh, the author doesn't talk about activating the parasympathetic nervous system. He talks about beta waves. Beta waves are a, brain, a type of brain wave that is associated with stress. Alpha waves are associated with relaxation. He doesn't mention, he doesn't talk about parasympathetic sympathetic. He talks about alpha and beta brain waves. You can actually go into a hypnotic trance by activating the parasympathetic nerve, or by activating the peripheral vision. And a hypnotic trance is also partially a manifestation of an activation of the relaxation nervous system. So all of these, these ways, these mechanisms for relaxing the body can be helpful. And then if you want to focus on specific nutrients, vitamin E, and uh, essential fatty acids are very important for helping blood cells carry oxygen, for making sure the red blood cells are doing their business. Anybody who's dealing with COPD or, uh, or any kind of blood coagulation issues, which can, if not cause COPD, can still cause cellular suffocation, you want to think about the fatty nutrients to help make those cell membranes, those red cell membranes, healthy so they can do their oxygen attracting and ultimately oxygen carrying work. Is that helpful? That, that is great. All right. That's a lot of stuff there for COPD. Thanks for your call, man. Happy holidays, too. Thank you. Uh, Robert, Merry take Christmas. care. Merry right. Christmas to you. you. Bye-bye. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we just got open lines, so uh, I'm going to take a couple letters here because I've been meaning to do this for a while. Got all kinds of mail after Dr. Glidden, after Dr. Wallach was on, after Dr. Glidden was on Coast to Coast. Uh, Jim writes, uh, I recently learned about you. I've been getting... Um, a bad, he, has two, he has stenosis, two bad discs, bone spurs on his vertebrae from head to tail. 
That means his, his bone is starting to change. His bone is starting to degenerate. So what do the doctors do? This is what he's on. Uh, they want him to do steroid injections. Well, he refused. But he's on hydrocodone, which is Vicodin, pain pill. He's on Motrin, which is an anti-inflammatory. He's on muscle relaxants. Oh, he's on an antidepressant, too. Great. Uh, let's see. He, he says he only uses the, the, the Vicodin and the Motrin occasionally. So this is a guy who's in pain. But he's in pain because his body's falling apart. His bones are starting to break down and degenerate. Now, if you go to the doctor and tell him about you got a back problem he's, or bone spurs, he's going to try to treat the bone spurs and the back problem. And there's no way to treat those things because they start off in the blood. That's the end. The bone spurs are the body's response to the dirty coagulated blood, to the uh, nutritionally deficient blood, to the high blood sugar. This is just a classic example of the triangle of disease at work. This is a gentleman whose body's falling apart. His bones specifically are starting to degenerate and his, and his uh, uh, discs as well. This is not complicated. It's very simple. So what Jim has to do is number one, focus on digestive health because if he doesn't absorb stuff, he, it, doesn't matter what he, it doesn't matter what he takes. If he's got malabsorption, it doesn't matter what supplements he takes. So patch up the gut. Eliminate problem foods, do the food diary, make sure you're supporting the microbiome with the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Use your Fucoid Z, it coats and soothes the digestive tract, facilitating healing and reducing the, the, the symptomology and the signs of leaky gut syndrome. Fucoid Z or Z radical, which has a little sugar in it. Glucogel caps can help as well in this regard. And of course, aloe and noni contain long chain sugars that can also help coat and soothe the digestive system, likewise bone soup. Make sure you're using the Healthy Start Pack. That always is, goes without saying. Throw in the sweet E. So to stabilize the blood sugar, keep the blood sugar down, keep inflammatory foods down, eat as little as possible after we eat anything. Inflammation sparks up. The immune system is activated or woken up. That's called postprandial, post-eating inflammation. And then make sure you're relaxing the body. Now, in the case of degeneration of the bone and the skeletal muscle, they work together. You need to do resistance training, or you should do resistance training. Resistance training, a little burst of stress in combination with rest, activates building and allows the body to utilize nutrients. The body is much more likely to utilize micronutrients and even macronutrients, protein, fats, and carbohydrates when it's under a little bit of intense stress, a little bit. Not long-term chronic stress, but a little bit of intense stress, the kind you get by uh, doing a two-minute run on, the, on a treadmill. And you don't need a lot of exercise. 10 minutes a day, five or 10 minutes a day, but it's the intensity that counts. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. We'll be back at you after the holidays. Merry Christmas to all. And and uh, if you want to purchase any of my Truth Treatment products, make sure you check out truthtreatments.com for longevity products. Head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. That's all the time we have for today. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.